Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Indiscipline Mind podcast for Monday, February 22nd, 2016. As of this morning, Sierra is still missing. The other uh, notable thing about today is that uh, today is the wife's birthday. So happy birthday, Jelaine. We celebrated our birthday yesterday. Went to this place called Frankenmuth that I've discussed before. Had ourselves a nice big chicken dinner. The in-laws came along with us, so we had a good time. Had a good time. I have uh, reached the 13th page on my big paper. And that's significant because when we got the initial rubric for the paper, it said that the paper had to be between 15 pages. Yeah, between 15 pages. And we're like, well, well, well wait a minute. <laughs> Somebody's like, this is between 15 pages. Isn't that a range? And she, and she, at the time, she was like, no, nah, it's just 15 pages. The between is a typo. So, all right. So we've been working under the assumption that, you know, that it's 15 pages. So I've been writing, you know, five-ish pages. And then 15 is the minimum. Man, I've been writing five-ish pages. i got three sections. I've got, you know, a Teddy Roosevelt section, a Nelson Mandela section, and then uh, a, a comparison section where I'm going to compare and contrast the traits of these two guys. And, you know, so I've been writing on a pace where I've been, I've been putting about five pages in on each of my two leaders there. Well, you know, last week she's up, she, she mentioned something about 12 to 15 pages. And she's like, and we're like, what? And and oh yeah, it's twelve to fifteen pages. It's just, uh, so yeah, I don't know that it's going to make that big difference to me because you know by the time I finished my second section, my Nelson Mandela section, I was at eleven pages, I think. You know, so I've already passed the twelve page mark. I'm on page thirteen. So I have a feeling I'm going to go to about page 14. Because I, I want the comparison section should be probably minimum of four pages, I would say. Uh, and, you know, based on how I'm going with it, I've just done the first little bit of it this morning. And, yeah, I, I can see it going that long. I, I guess it'll... You know, what, what this will open me up for is I can probably be a little bit more aggressive with my editing pen than I might otherwise be because I don't want to cut out huge swaths of of words because I wasn't going to come in like 20 pages or something I, I wasn't I, I haven't been writing quite to that pace I don't really understand going you know for, for a class going beyond the limit that much You know, if they want me to write a 15-page paper, I, you know, I might go, you know, and, and I feel like I have to go over or whatever, you know, I, I might go, you know, page, page and a half over that, maybe two. I'm not going to turn it a 25-page paper. Some people will just do that. It's just like, you know, I would think at that point it's going to start working against you because... If the teacher said that they wanted to have a 15-page paper, they don't want to read a 25-page paper. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm probably thinking final product is going to be around the 14-page mark. So, that's what I'm aiming for. I could potentially get the 15 pages. We'll see. We will see. You know, I saw an interesting news story this morning about Apollo 10, I guess it was, where they were the first mission to go uh, to reach the moon, I think, 
Now, they were the last mission to go before, you know, Apollo 11 when they landed. And while they were rounding the back of the moon, they heard this, these strange sounds that they called space music. And they've recently declassified all these things, and one of the things that was classified was, was this. And, and the astronauts could hear it, and they were commenting on it. And I listened to the re, uh, listened to the recording this morning. It was pretty interesting. I mean, it doesn't sound like you know, it's not like you know, random staticky noise kind of stuff. It was it was different. You could see somebody, some of this you know, new age electrical instrument stuff. You could see that coming out, you know, sounding kind of like that. It was it was pretty interesting. Uh, it'd be kind of funny if we find out later that oh yeah, that was a prank. For, somebody did, or they, they, they rigged the capsule so that when you lost radio contact, they started playing this, this stuff. And I don't think that's too likely, but that would be funny if that turned out to be the case. Because they weren't freaked out, but they were definitely like, wow, this is strange stuff. And since they're on the dark side of the moon, they couldn't, they couldn't originate from any transmission from, from Earth, because there was no line of sight. Maybe they picked up a Mars radio station. <laughs> Who knows? You know, the other thing that would be interesting to see, I wonder if, you know, how long it would be before somebody really pursues us, is what about the other Apollo missions? You know, we, we had... <clears throat> we had uh, people that spent quite a bit of time going around the moon. You know, people that were in the command module didn't go down on the lunar surface. I mean, they went around the moon, moon many times. And so we're on the dark side many times. So I'm curious if any of them heard the same stuff. So, yeah. That was, was kind of interesting stuff. I'm sure there's, there's lots of nuggets of interestingness to, to be uh, gleaned from these records from the Apollo missions if there's a bunch of stuff that they classified that they are now declassifying. So, so yeah, why that had to be classified is, is kind of beyond me. It is a government agency, so usually they're going, when in doubt, classify. But yeah, I guess that's really all I'm thinking about today. Trying to get into Monday. Uh, we had some work activity over the weekend. We had a server down, and, and that caused problems for one of my applications. I'm hoping that doesn't affect too much what happens today. So, but we will see. Anyway, I'll be back tomorrow, and I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you. <laughs>